Hey now, my new pal is falling apart rather quickly, I might add. I would say that being over 100 degrees inside here is a huge part of it, and the other part is the tuning. It's so high, you'll never hear it anywhere. Like, period. It ain't happening. An open F sharp? No way. But it's an awesome little weird instrument, too. It's a little tiny, little kid, six string, classical, you know, and I'm not a little kid, I'm an adult. But it's left handed, and I try to play anything, even if it's upside down, I don't care, you know, because I've already mastered a harmonica a long time ago. But, that brings up a point. This thing wasn't playing so good with a harmonica all of a sudden. The first the videos I put on, you know, the first couple of videos there are the only ones that are on right now. They sounded good with a harp, but now it doesn't. So it's it's falling apart big time. But it's starting to play single notes. times in the back room when I'm playing electric, I'll play like that because a lot of my pedals, I have boatloads of them, literally like so many that I don't know at this point, hundreds, and a lot of the pedals make you play very precise and every string on the guitar is very different while you're playing certain pedals and that's what this guitar is starting to do. sweet spots on it and then there's like weak points you know you gotta hit the string a little harder or hit it a little softer or play like this very strange phrasing you'll be playing like the strings This thing plays like, you know, a lot of different ways at once with single notes. I'm not sure about the harmonica yet. I, at first it sounded great, but I just played a little bit and then I took it off and I started doing this. And I, I'm trying to decide to use a thumb pick or not. Playing this way. I might have 
another guitar that's possessed. I got one definitely that I know of that's there's definitely a possession of it. It's not a bad possession. It's like a spirit that likes to joke around a little bit. My pink bubblegum, that's the name of the color, bubblegum. It's over there, I haven't played it quite a while. Yeah, yeah. But it's definitely haunted, you know, there's no doubt about it. But you have to be very spiritual to think like that. Especially if I don't use a harmonica on it, it's not meant for it. It was at first, but now it doesn't seem like it, it's choosing a harmonica. This is alright. But this is a cuckoo tuning. Like I told you probably ten times by now, you'll never hear this tuning. It's the highest you can put anything in. You try to put this tuning on a regular guitar with steel strings and they'll just snap like crazy. Classical strings are different, and that's what these are. You can go a lot farther with a classical string. You can get a lot of different tunings.
So this video is a reference video for me and showing you that I got another haunted guitar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, this one's a trickster, all right. Big time. It tricked me big time because at first it was instantly awesome and now it's it's still awesome, but it's, it's a trickster now. Yeah, yeah, I got to really figure it out. But I like it because I don't play the style that much. Like, consistently, you know? It'd be nice to have a guitar like that. Let's see what the other one does, too. Yeah, yeah. If they both do it, I'm gonna get two more of them real quick. Uh, yeah, because with Corona, stuff disappears, especially when you're left-handed, you can't find nothing. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting on a left-handed electric guitar for six months. They keep saying it's gonna be in a week, and then it's a month, and then it's, you know, three months, and it's already been six months. Well, so I had to cancel one, and I'm waiting on another one, and who knows? It's not a big deal, but that's the way COVID's been doing stuff. So, I'll stop chatting now because this thing's awesome. And uh, this is a crazy long video, but this guitar is haunted. Period. Mm -hmm. My pal is haunted. <laughs>